Karl Marx. Karl Marx, 1818-1883. Karl Marx was a German philosopher, critic of political economy, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and socialist revolutionary. German philosopher, then critic of political economy, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and socialist revolutionary. He is known as father of communist ideology. His best known titles are 1848 pamphlet, The Communist Manifesto, and three volume work, The Capital. He initially studied law and later he turned to the study of philosophy. In 1841, at the age of 23, he received the doctorate degree. After completing his studies, he began writing for a radical left-wing paper in Cologne and became its editor in 1842. After the closure of the paper, Marx travelled to Paris. During his stay in Paris, he met Frederick Engels and friendship between the two was immediate and eternal. Both of them wrote a number of classic works together. Major works of Karl Marx include Communist Manifesto, then Contributions to a Critic of Political Economy, Class Struggle in France and the classic three-volume work The Capital. Karl Marx, this is Karl Marx. He published the Communist Manifesto with the Friedrich Engels in 1848 and presented a great challenge to Lays' fair economics in the capital, 1867. Believed in the labor theory of value to explain the relative difference in market prices. Developed the theory of historical materialism. Marx Historical Materialism An important theory developed by Marx is known as historical materialism. This theory pos uh, posits that society at any given point in time is ordered by the type of technology used in the process of production. Under industrial capitalism, Society is ordered with capitalists organizing labor in factories or offices where they work for wages. Prior to capitalism, Marx suggested that feudalism existed as a specific set of social relations between lord and peasant classes related to the hand-powered or animal-powered means of production prevalent at the time. Next important concept, dialectical materialism. Marx turned from Hegelian idealism to materialism. Marx made good use of the dialectical method in what came to be called dialectical materialism or historical materialism. So, uh, Hegel, he was an idealist. He asserted the primacy of mind. But Marx, he was a materialist and he asserted the primacy of matter. According to Marx, matter is not a product of mind. On the contrary, mind is simply the most advanced product of matter. So, according to uh, Marx, matter is not a product of mind, whereas mind is simply the most advanced product of matter. And important point to be noted here is that Hegel was an idealist and Marx was a materialist. Hegel gave importance or he asserted the primacy of mind and Marx asserted the primacy of mat. Next point, Larson has outlined the basic postulates of Marxian dialectical method as follows. There are four points here, four basic postulates of Marxian dialectical method outlined by Larson. First one, all the phenomena of nature are part of an integrated code. 
then second one nature is in a continuous state of movement and change third one the developmental process is a product of quantitative advances that culminate in abrupt qualitative changes fourth one contradictions are inherent in all realms of nature particularly human society these are the four basic postulates of marxian dialectical method next class and class conflict marx sociology in fact sociology of the class struggle this means one has to understand the marxian concept of class before understanding any study into marxian philosophy and thought a class is defined by the position of a person in the process of production there is a class which owns the means of production that is the haves and have nots a class which does not own the means of production that is ownership and non ownership of private property as the means by which persons can produce the necessities of life which must be distinguished from personal property which cannot be used as a means of production thus for marx there can only be two classes and the history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggle between these two master and slave in ancient society lord and serf in feudal society guild master and journeyman in feudal and capitalist and worker in capitalist society are the class according to marx they are characterized by a relationship of exploitation and oppression so that what is produced by worker is always appropriated by dominant class the class such in society determine the nature of that society this means that the class which owns the means of production also holds power in a society makes the laws of society and determining the ruling ideas of the society alienation alienation literally means separation from marx has conceived of alienation as a phenomenon of structure of those societies in which dead labor dominates living labor alienation in the domain of work has a fourfold aspect man is alienated from the object he produces the process of production himself the community of his fellows so alienation's fourfold aspect is that man is alienated from himself then the object he produces then the process of production and the community of his fellows